In beating 5,000 other female Zwifters to win the Canyon SRAM Zwift Academy last year, the life of Ella Harris fundamentally changed as she won a pro contract with the Canyon SRAM team, one of the best women's pro teams in the world. The 20-year-old New Zealander moved 6,000 miles from home to Girona in Spain to start her new life and the last time we caught up with her in February, she was training hard for the season ahead and was in great physical and mental shape. Then, only four weeks ago, disaster struck as she crashed heavily in only her eighth race in the pro ranks and broke her collarbone, in the process potentially wrecking the opening part of the season. But despite undergoing recent surgery, quite amazingly, Ella is back on her bike, testament to her grip and fortitude, having trained exclusively, pretty much, on Zwift. But not only that, but she is here in rather cold and wet Yorkshire for one of the toughest and most prestigious races of the women's professional calendar, the ASDA Tour of Yorkshire. And we're here to see how she gets on in the hardest, the most important race of her young career so far. So Ella, it's pretty grim, it's cold, it's wet, mm. but the big story really, because it is always cold and wet in Yorkshire, is you being here. You know, <laughs> only four weeks ago, stage one of the Healthy Aging Tour, you crashed. And, and you've you've had surgery, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, so two weeks ago. <laughs> t t oh, two weeks ago, and you've, got, you've now got a plate in, your, in, 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 in that one. Yeah. I won't, I won't touch it. I'll just, uh, have, it's I mean, numb anyway. So, You've been obviously running a fair bit on Zwift as well to get back because nobody thought you'd be here. I certainly didn't. I'd kind of written off the best <laughs> race for you, but so you've been on Zwift a fair bit. Yeah, yeah, I did a week or so on Zwift. Kev sent me some pretty good intervals, so yeah, they got me ticking over. And See, then a week and a half on the road, so. So, by me. I mean, what are your expectations in this race? I mean, it's just amazing you're here anyway, but what are your expectations? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I just want to get into the race and know that I'm still, I'm still feeling strong and that and still feel comfortable on the bunch and then we'll see what happens from there. But first things first is just getting in the race and <laughs> just riding for a bit really, yeah. yeah. So Alice, Ella's obviously had a bit of a difficult start to the year crashing in the Healthy Aging Tour. And I believe you were there and you, you saw the crash happen. Yeah, yeah, she just done uh, quite a strong pull on the front and then coming back, basically got taken out from behind, which is pretty rubbish. Um, but yeah, I was racing with her before in Dresden as well, and she was um, improving every race and being really strong. So I think, um, yeah, it's quite impressive to come back so quickly and um, yeah, see how she gets back in the race. injury just flare up within like the first 20k and by the time I got to 80k to go it was so painful I just had to soft pedal and oh I'm just pleased I got around <laughs> I was seriously I was in so much pain with 30k to go and I don't actually know how I got here oh. but it was annoying because I was actually my legs were feeling really good and I was feeling good on the climb so I just had the world's most excruciating knee. Oh, the shoulder is completely fine. <sighs> Ella's first race back, I think she, she can be quite pleased with how she went. The Yesterday's stage one was um, a test for her and she got through it really well. Then uh, stage two today she uh, had hoped to get into a break but she was feeling I think the effects of sort of first race back um, and it was a hard stage with really tough conditions today so I think overall for her first race after such a short recovery from a broken collarbone I think she can be quite pleased. Well, that clearly was a very difficult and challenging weekend for Ella, but there's one thing that she has got in spades, and that is grit and determination. And I know that she'll be back on form very, very soon. So make sure you join us a little bit later in the year when we catch up with her yet again. But for now, from beautiful Yorkshire, it's goodbye.